A Note on Action of Some Monoids by Michał Juźwikowski and Mikołaj Rodkiewicz. Our motivation comes from the following result by Grabowski and Rodkiewicz. Consider a manifold M with an action of the multiplicative monoid of the real numbers. If the action is smooth, then M is naturally vibrated over the image of H0. More specifically, it has a structure of the so-called graded bundle. The typical fiber of M has a structure of the so-called graded space. It is a smooth manifold deformorphic to an Euclidean space and equipped with an atlas of the so-called weighted coordinates. In short, we assign an integer weight to each coordinate and admit only these changes of coordinates which preserve the weights. In the context of the above result, it is interesting to ask about other natural monoid action manifolds. In our paper, we studied the following special cases. The actions both smooth and holomorphic of the multiplicative monoid of the complex numbers, the actions of the monoids of the multiplicative reals on supermanifolds, and the smooth actions of G2, the monoid of the second jets of real functions preserving zero. In the case of complex actions, we'll also obtain a similar bundle structure on the considered manifold. The typical fiber will now be a complex graded space, which is defined analogously to its real counterpart. It turns out that every holomorphic actions of the multiplicative complex numbers on a complex manifold provides it with the structure of the holomorphic graded bundle. That is, our manifold is a holomorphic bundle with the typical fiber being a complex graded space. Similarly as above, we can characterize smooth bundles with a typical fiber being a complex graded space. These are in one-to-one -one correspondence with the smooth actions of the monoid of the multiplicative complex numbers, satisfying an additional condition. Basically, we require that the real part of an action is compatible with the action of the roots of unity. Our results for the action of the multiplicative reals on supermanifolds are very similar in flavor to the holomorphic case. The main difference is that we have to substitute the concept of the real graded space with its super analog. On a super graded space, we have coordinates which have both integer weights and the parity. We proved that the action of the multiplicative reals on a super manifold provides it with the structure of the supergraded bundle, that is a locally trivial bundle uh, with the typical fiber being a supergraded space. The results for the monoid of the second jets of real maps preserving zero are of different flavor. Obviously, the monoid of the second jets is non-commutative. This implies that in general, left and right actions of this monoid will be different. The monoid in question has two natural substructures. First of all, multiplicative reals are its natural submonoid, and secondly, the additive reals form a natural subgroup. The presence of the above two structures implies that M with a G2 action is naturally a real graded bundle and admits a canonical vector field of weight minus 1 with respect to this structure. The following converse of the buff result is true. If M is a graded bundle equipped with a weight minus 1 vector field, then we can define naturally an action of the group of invertible elements of G2 on M. However, in general, this action cannot be extended to the whole G2. For the left actions, we have precisely the same results, but our vector field is now of weight 1, not minus 1. Thank you for your attention. We will warmly welcome any comments, remarks or suggestions.